Alrighty. Imagine this won't take me too long to do. Doctor, I think our relationship is pretty screwed right now. Also, why are you a doctor in your relationship specialist? What the heck is that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. AK-47. Got it. Look, honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. Kinda good, actually. Ooh, look at the water. Ooh, liquid physics. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good game. All the statues disappear. I will get you! You furry leeches! Get out of my house! Is this the weapon? Nothing at all. I'm not gonna talk about how that statue probably walked its little happy ass all the way over here. No? Cool. Good job. The astute question here, artist. Destroy debris. Blood is the color. the thickest thing <laughs> Oi! Everything I touch breaks. Oh, we're at two minutes. Fucking hell! Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. Ugh. Solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. Well, I wasn't gonna say the game was 100% perfect there, but you know. Oh. The world is breaking around us. I totally missed the painting that last time. <laughs> Alright. Nice. I like the feature of this torch. Oh my god! A woman in black! Oh my god! Honey? Honey, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Eat AK-47! Burn! Holy crap. I'm scared to turn her up. Oh god, she's coming back. 
AK-47 again! We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. AK-47 again, bitch! Yeah, that's right, loser. Yeah, nice. You're so cruel. Am I? Am I though? While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not worry. Fireplace that often, and ash is everywhere. Damn ash! Day I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus! Does she really hate me that much? Or, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. I can tell he's a broken man. Anyways, that looks like the right way, so we're gonna go this way. Seen no fluctuations of power in your area, and see no issues. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way. Thanks, man. Useless prick.
some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous. Well, that's just your opinion, man. I am a hard-working artist. I hate my life. Alright, that's where I was going to go. Does it fix the world? Yep, there we go. Alright. Now the cop and oh god, this is upside down. Uh, oh, I screwed that up. One. There. Is it a 70 or a 10? That's a 70. Put it between the books. He'll never find it there. Lightning. There we go. Up. We go up. And lo and behold, we're on the bottom floor. AK-47 this. All AK-47 everything in this room. I definitely missed a lot there. Ah.
out of range. I think I remember this room. It's like you have to run backwards. So yeah, we go this way now to reverse it all because we're Barry Allen. But with better CGI. Okay, never mind. I totally thought that was the answer, but I guess not. Maybe I gotta go a couple more. Yeah! Hello? Hello? Yes, oh, speak. Yes. What? What? What fire? God. God. Is she... she... Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. If I am to be honest, I can. Oi, 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 oi. No, it's in the door. This thing, this family. Won't work if you keep undermining me. It will break apart. <laughs> Come at me, honey. You want to start something? Oh, hey, look, your violin. I'm crushing it. All right, honey. I got the AK-47 right here with your name on it. I just finished carving the bullet you're set for you. Look at what we've done. his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted <laughs> badly. I I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house. Oh, that's just irresponsible.
imagine my life would be actually probably miserable. thing where if you just don't want to look at her she'll really thank you and then snap your neck <laughs> honey don't fuck with me right now girl I got I got I got this AK right here it was uh, real quick cuz we're getting up there in time one sec 